I have born-again Christian friends who say to me, you Mormons are trying to earn your way to heaven. I say no. We are not earning heaven. We are learning heaven. We are preparing for it. We are practicing for it. They ask me, well, have you been saved by grace? And I say, yes, absolutely, totally, completely, thankfully, yes. And then I ask them a question that perhaps they have not fully considered. Have you been changed by grace? They are so excited about being saved that maybe they're not thinking enough about what comes next. They are so happy the debt is paid, they might not have considered why the debt existed in the first place. Latter-day Saints know not only what Jesus has saved us from, but what he has saved us for. As my friend Brett Sanders puts it, a life impacted by grace eventually begins to look like Christ's life. As my friend Omar Canals puts it, while many Christians view Christ's suffering as only a huge favor he did for us, Latter-day Saints also recognize it as a huge investment he made in us. As Moroni puts it in chapter 7, verse 48, grace isn't just about being saved. It is about becoming like the Savior. The miracle of the atonement is not just that we can live after we die, but that we can live more abundantly. The miracle of the atonement is not just that we can be cleansed and consoled, but that we can be transformed. Scriptures make it clear that no unclean thing can dwell with God. But brothers and sisters, no unchanged thing will even want to.